Namaste dear learners, today we are going to see a simple and super concept in the semiconductors that is direct and indirect band gap semiconductors. Based on band gap in the semiconductors are classified into two types that is direct band gap and indirect band gap semiconductors. Firstly, we will see a direct band gap semiconductor. Now, if you see this graph, it is the relation between E, that is energy, and K, wave number or a wave vector, you can say. The E versus K graph shows this one. And the above part refers to conduction band, where the conduction electrons are present. And here, the lower one shows the valency band where the valence electrons or you can say the conduction holes are present. In case of direct band gap semiconductors, the minimum energy of the conduction band meets the maximum energy of the valency band at same K value. That is called direct band gap semiconductor. In this semiconductor, the band gap is equal to energy gap because of that lifetime or recombination time is very less in this kind of semiconductors when recombination takes place means if an electron jumps from valency band to conduction band like this or electron is combined with the hole energy gets emitted that energy is also emitted in the form of a photon that's what in the form of a light because of this reason these direct band gap semiconductors are used in the fabrication of led and laser diodes and mostly these direct band gap semiconductors are compound semiconductors means more than one element in the material so, example, indium arsenide, gallium arsenide are the best examples we can see. Now, we'll move to indirect band gap semiconductor. And this is the E versus K diagram for indirect band gap semiconductors. Yes, by observing the diagram, you will come to know the difference. In any semiconductor, if the minimum energy of the conduction band and maximum energy of the valence band does not occur at same K value, then that is called indirect band gap semiconductor. In this kind of semiconductors, energy gap is less than band gap or you can say band gap is more than energy gap. Because of this, the lifetime or the recombination time is bit more compared to direct and recombination will not take place directly here so through uh, some recombination center somewhere here from that place the recombination takes place and here also when electron is combined with the hole that's recombination takes place energy gets emitted but here the energy gets emitted in the form of a heat. Because of this, these are used to fabricate generally to do rectifiers, amplifiers, etc. And these are mostly in the form of elemental semiconductors. Examples, the best examples of this one is a silicon and germanium are this kind. So in a quick review, these are the differences between a direct and indirect band gap semiconductors. Now here you can see these are used in LED and in case of amplifiers we are using indirect band gap semiconductors. And this is the topic of direct and indirect band gap semiconductors and the write-up for this topic is given in the description. Happy learning! Like, share, comment and please subscribe my channel physics made easy thank you for watching and if you have any queries and questions please post your questions in the below in the comment section so for more updates kindly update uh, kindly subscribe my channel thank you thank you once again